Hi Mosaic Kids, it's Miss Lexi. We are so excited for our lesson today. But first, let's start with our memory verse of the month. Our memory verse of the month for July is Psalm 8-1. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the nations. Now repeat after me with the motions. If you aren't already, go ahead and stand up and wiggle it out. Okay. Starts with, O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Psalm 8 colon 1. Mavatma, huh? Okay, now it's time to learn about our nation of the month. Our nation of the month for July is Nepal. Remember, we learn about a nation of the month every month because God loves the nations and he wants everyone to know that he is good, great, glorious, and gracious. So we are going to learn about the language they speak in Nepal. Now they actually speak many languages in Nepal, but the official language is Nepali. Can you say Nepali on three? One, two, three. Nepali. Good job. And um, do you know how to say hello in Nepali? You say Namaskar. Repeat after me on three. One, two, three. Namaskar. Good job. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born, that Jesus Christ is born. Before there was time, you were up in the highest place. But leaving your home, you came down to make a way. There is nobody else, no other name can say. You have stolen our hearts and given us everything. We want to lift you higher, Jesus, you are forever, everlasting light, risen Savior, you are, you are, you are forever, Jesus, you are forever, everlasting light. My heart's forgiver, you are, you are, you are forever. You are the way, you are the life and truth. You say by your grace, there was nothing that we could do. You changed by your blood. You're making all things new. With your spirit in us, we're sealed for a life with you, yeah. And we want to lift you higher, oh. Jesus, you are forever, everlasting life. Risen Savior, you are, you are, you are forever. Jesus, you are forever, everlasting life. 
My heart's forgiven. You are, you are, you are forever. Worthy is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain, my Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain, my Jesus. Risen is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain, my Jesus. Risen is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain, my Jesus. Jesus, you are forever, everlasting life, risen Savior, you are, you are, you are forever. Jesus, you are forever, everlasting life, my heart's forgiven, you are, you are, you are forever. Okay, now it's time for our Bible story lesson. Remember um, that every story we read is from the Bible, and the Bible is God's true word. It is from God, and it is about God. So last week, we learned that Noah and his family were the only people who loved and trusted God on the whole earth. So God sent a flood to fill the earth and destroy every person and animal, but God saved Noah, his family, and two of every kind of animal. When the flood was over and Noah and his family left the ark, people began to fill the earth again. And after many, many years, a man named Abraham was born. On the count of three, say Abraham. One, two, three, Abraham. So today we are going to talk about Abraham and a promise that God made to him. So Abraham listened to God and wanted to obey all the things that God said to do. And God gave Abraham a wife named Sarah. On the count of three, say Sarah. One, two, three, Sarah. One night when Abraham was praying to God and asking God to give him children, God took Abraham outside to look at the sky and all the millions of stars. Then God told Abraham to try and count the stars. Of course, there are way too many stars for Abraham to ever count. God promised Abraham that he would have even more children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren that there were stars in the sky. And God told Abraham that all of those children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren of Abraham would be God's special and chosen people. And the Bible tells us that Abraham believed what God said. So I'm going to read Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. And it says, And he believed the Lord, and he counted it to him as righteousness. And so even though Abraham believed God's promise, Abraham and Sarah still had to wait 10 more years to have a baby. That's a really long time. And finally, God told Abraham that very soon his wife, Sarah, would have a baby. The Bible tells us that when Abraham heard this, he laughed. On the count of three, let's all laugh. Ha ha ha. Abraham was so surprised that his wife would have a baby because she was very, very old. But God kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah, and Sarah had a baby boy. This baby was named Isaac. On the count of three, say Isaac. One, two, three, Isaac. Abraham and Sarah were so happy for this precious baby that God gave them. And even though Abraham and Sarah were very old and did not think they would be able to have a baby, they did because God is good. He is worthy of our trust. And he gave Abraham and Sarah a baby. Abraham and Sarah wanted to have a baby, and God promised them that they would. And God promised Abraham that he would have many more people in his family than there are stars in the sky. And after many, many years, Abraham and Sarah finally had Isaac, just like God said. 
And God always keeps his promises. And God also promised that he would send Jesus to save sinners, and he did. God is good. He is worthy of our trust. On the count of three, we are going to whisper, God is good. One, two, three. God is good. Good job, guys. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you that you are good, that you um, are faithful to fulfill all your promises. God, we thank you that you have promised um, to send your son Jesus to Abraham and that you fulfilled that promise, that those who believe in him um, will be saved. Lord, we thank you um, that you are good. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, now it's time to do our gospel finger play. Let's start with our hands in the air. Are you ready? Jesus came down to be born as a little baby. He lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins. He was buried in a tomb. And on the third day, he rose from the dead. And that's the gospel truth. All right, it's time for us to answer some review questions to see how well you're listening. After I ask the question, go ahead and pause the video and shout out the answer. Then unpause to hear the answer. Are you ready? Question one. What did Abraham and Sarah want? To have a baby. Question two. What did God promise Abraham and Sarah? God promised them that they would have a baby and that all of the children in their family would be God's special and chosen people. Question three, did God give Abraham and Sarah a baby? Yes, because God is good and he always keeps his promises. What was their son's name? Isaac. Good job, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.